Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here for week one of our UBL matches, and we are going to be up against Dan, aka the Silver Beanie. I see him a lot on Twitch on that Shiny Hunting grind, but of course he's also going to have uh, UBL stuff as well. And this is looking like a pretty fun first week matchup. His team isn't the fastest. A lot of my team outspeeds a lot of his teams just straight up, but of course he does have that Gelf Angelus Sticky Web support, so uh, getting rid of that will be crucial. We do have uh, Serena Rapid Spin and Latios Defog, so hopefully we can get some things going there. But I'm just excited to see the six that he brought and see how well we can match up here. We are going to see the Chandelure, Blyscore, Golbat, Cresselia, um... What's that thing called? Galvantula and Como O. Now, um, I pretty much expected him not to bring the Tapu Fini, which kind of stinks because I'm pretty positive that um, I did end up putting Gunk Shot onto my Greninja. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a wasted slot. I knew I had to do it just in case, but I knew that that was ultimately going to be a wasted slot. No Cray Dilly, which, was, which I was honestly worried about, and uh, that definitely prevented me from spamming water. But, um... It doesn't bring it here. I do have the Ghost TMZ Shadow Ball for the Cresselia, so I'm hoping for things out of that. But I actually think that because I decided on Gunk Shot, I passed on Dark Pulse for my Greninja, which is going to kind of suck, but hopefully the U-Turn can do enough in the long run. Either way, either way. Let's see what I can do here. Let's see what I can do. Um, I do kind of like a Jolteon lead here. I do kind of like a Jolteon lead here, just because I can definitely see... I can definitely see a Gliscor or a Galvantula lead, just for some hazards, but... Uh, I'm pretty positive that I can just uh, Shadow Ball twice on a Galvantula, and I can try to HP Ice on a Gliscor. And if the Galvantula is there, then I can Shadow Ball it uh, to try to catch the Gliscor on the switch. I'm going to say that that's Galvantula. It is. Okay. I'm super not used to a non-shiny Galvantula. It's been a while since I've seen that. But we have our Jolteon here. And I am tempted to just Volt Switch out. But um, he probably just stays in and goes for the webs, if anything. Probably Focus Ash lead. I'm going to have to guess. But, uh, Shadow Ball is gonna do, um, it's probably gonna do me the best. This is a choice Specs Jolteon. Um, just enough speed to outspeed this Galvantula. And Shadow Ball should do over half. I would be kind of surprised if it didn't. Yeah, does well over half. Gets a special defense drop. Huge special defense drop. Goes for the Sticky Web. But, as long as we can, um, manage this Galvantula early on, then uh, I have plenty of options with the Rapid Spin on the Serena and the uh, Defog on the Latio. So I'm just going to go for it again, get the freest of damage off, whether or not you switch out. Um, I should have taken another look at his team to see uh, what kind of resists he has. Um, if anything, this might be a switch into Coma O, but... Um, probably should have thought of that. Probably definitely should have thought of that. Volt Switch probably would have done me better, even if the Glide Score did, well, yeah. I was Specs anyway, but even if the Glide Score did come in, uh, I did have the Bright Switch-ins to the, to the Glide Score, so probably, probably not the best of plays, but, um, even if the Coma O does come in, yeah, I do have Serena as a little bit of a wall, I do, um, uh, I put in a lot of... Is that the... No, go straight into the goal bat. Okay. Okay. Don't quite know. I feel like... What does this thing want to do to me? I'm going to switch out. Pretty much confirm for him the... The, uh... Pretty much confirm for him the... Specs. Or at least the choice item, but, you know. I'm gonna scare this thing out with a, with bringing in Latios. Even though this Latios doesn't have Psychic Stab on it, uh, probably should have prepared 
that for the Golbat, I suppose, but uh, it just goes for the U-turn, that's fine. I probably should have Shadow Balled again in its face. I should, I super should have. Super duper should have. Galvantula is no longer a switch in here. Como, oh. I, Como can't come in, I don't think. Um, not even for the site, I mean, yeah. You guys know what I mean. Um, and I'm struggling to remember the rest of his team at this point. I'm super duper tired. I've never been um, more unprepared for a league match. And I thought I took the cake with, uh, with, uh, with, um, PGBL week one. But, uh, yikes, yikes was this not great. It is, um, a nine in the morning currently. And, uh, I woke up about an hour ago. As soon as this battle's over, I have to get to work. But, uh, you know what? It's... You know what, it's fine, it's fine. He's thinking for a while about this switch in. Again, I don't quite know what, to, what you would do. I mean, if anything, again, I'm kinda, I'm kinda surprised at, at not bringing the Cradilia. It's kinda like a, uh, to kinda sponge water hits and um, be a general wall because uh, just in general, my team didn't match up the best. I think I had enough to deal with it, but, um, what is this? Okay. 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 This is our time. Even if I gotta give it the Latios. Even if I gotta give it the Latios. I'm going straight for this thing. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna put it up on screen just so... Just so we can all play along. Never ending nightmare. Let's click the button. Okay. Okay. Give it to me. I mean, I know it's not going to take it out. Whatever, fine. But I want to see this damage. I want this damage. And I was going to see that I wasted my Z-move, so... I mean, not wasted. This is exactly why I have the Z-move. But, um... Yeah. Okay, so from here... I was going to say from here, Draco Meteor should do it, but, uh... After the Calm Mod, he probably takes the Draco Meteor. I could... I could... Now, the play is a Draco Meteor anyway, right? Let me go back. Alright, so now I... So now that I have a little bit of... Now that I have a little bit... I, I have to keep the pressure on. 100%. 100%, I feel. His entire team... Just kind of loses to Latios at this point. Yeah, genu genuinely, his entire team loses to Latios. So, let's see. Cresselia. Cresselia. This was Z Shadow Ball. At 252 Special Attack. And this is... And we're going to get the Cresselia 252 in HP. That's about... 65-ish percent. See, so yeah, I'm probably a bit specially invested. Let's give it 100 into special special defense. He gave it 110, that's fine. Um, that would be about right, that would be about right. So, now we gotta give it plus one, which is terrifying. But, um, not doing nearly enough. Would the Draco Meteor help me out here? Draco Meteor's doing max 30%. I'm gonna Shadow Ball into it anyway, because uh, just to preserve my, just to preserve my special attack stat. Was that a crit? That was a crit. Oh no, that super duper mattered. That crit super duper mattered. I'm um, su. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. I mean, I don't know what he went for at all, like even a little bit, but that super duper mattered. That was a crit, and that super duper mattered. Oh man, if I could have found a way to make this Latios, um, if I could have found a way to make this Latios modest, then that would have been huge. That would have been huge. I mean, while we're here waiting for it, let's uh, give it the old how modest Z Shadow Ball.
I did something to mess up this calc, I feel. Anyway, this thing comes in. Pretty much telling me that this thing has to be scarfed, right? This, super, this thing is super duper scarfed. So... What do I do? I could go directly into... Ferrothorn here. Unless he predicts that. If he predicts that and, uh... Flamethrower is in on me, then, uh, that's not great. I could bring in Primarina. I could bring in Primarina. But Primarina does so well against the rest of his team. If the Primarina goes down, then that would be pretty scary in general. But there are too many options. I feel like he has to double here because I have too many options. If he wants to predict the the Ferrothorn, I can bring in Primarina. If he wants, if he wants to predict the Primarina, I can. Uh, go for the energy ball then i have answers to that and if he goes for the shadow ball then that's a free ferrothorn switch so i feel like he has to double here i'm gonna go into ferrothorn i'm gonna go into ferrothorn try to set up some stealth rocks um if he if he um calls the if he calls the fireball, if he calls the fire blast on this, yeah, it's shadow ball. Okay. Now, was he expecting just to take it? I mean, I don't know. Does Chandelure take? Does Chandelure just take it? Do I do I uh, stay in here just to check the scarf? Oh, he might know that he takes a Shadow Ball. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he could be not Scarfed. He could just be giving up the Chandelure to deal with my Latios. That's a possibility. Getting up rocks would be... Not important, but it would be helpful. Um, this Ferrothorn really doesn't do much other than set up rocks and uh, kind of deal with the type of Feeny. Um, what else could this possibly deal with here? Not much. Like, super not much. I'm gonna go for the rocks here. Let's... We have to test it out. Yeah, so super duper scarfed. Super duper scarfed. Also, no Mega Gyarados, which is weird. I didn't bring my Mega either, but no Gyarados. Um, now, I am a Leech Seed Protect set. And he's probably a Drain Punch set. He's got a Dragon Dance right now. So I'm going to Leech Seed right now. There's a Dragon Dance. And I don't have the Gyro Ball, unfortunately. I, I, my only attacking move is Power Whip. And please don't miss. Yeah, my only attacking move is Power Whip. But I think he knows that I can go for Protect, so I think he's going to try and Dragon Dance again. So I could get the free damage off with a Power Whip, or I could go for a free, a fairly free, um, switch in. I do have the Latio switch in available to me. Probably has Poison Jam, Supreme Arena isn't the best. What are my options here? I don't I really don't have many options here. I think I I, I think I just have to uh, take some free damage with power whip at the moment. And then uh hope we can protect Leech Seed this thing to get uh, a bit of health back. But we're gonna have to make some reads as well because I know I think he knows that he has to be aggressive here, and he has to uh, call some of those plays. And he pretty much has to, um... He pretty much has to, uh... Make some reads. In order to win this matchup, but, uh, yeah, Como is super scary now. Como is super scary now, and I don't quite know what to do. I do have a very physically defensive Serena, 
no, I shouldn't say very specially physically defensive, but um, a decently physically defensive Serena. But even then, um, if I let him Dragon Dance freely, then I'm not quite sure. Oh, he, wow. Wow, he got a little too aggressive. He got a touch too aggressive. He got a touch too aggressive, okay. I mean, now would be a great time to switch out. I mean, these are some honest mind games. Like, like I don't blame him even a little bit. I super don't blame him. I mean, in my PGPL match, I uh, I Dragon Pulsed into a Primarina thinking that I had to switch out. So I know, I know how you feel, dude. I know how you feel. Um... Yeah, I don't quite know the calcs, and I don't think it's worth, like, doing, but, I, but I'm pretty positive a Drain Punch doesn't, uh, just destroy me. Yeah, so, yeah, so this next turn is gonna be super interesting, because he knows now that he, that, um... He knows now that I have to protect here. So I could Power Whip again. He knows that I have to either protect or switch out to protect this Ferrothorn. And the fact that he's not going to get nearly enough through um, Leech Seed, through uh, Drain Punch, because my HP is as low as it is, is going to make me want to click Power Whip again. I already did, in all fairness. But I'm going to just click it again. Oh, he just Drain Punches again. Okay. No, fair play, fair play. Super duper fair play. Super duper fair play. I just do wish that I had just gone for the uh, drain punch there, but I have to trust in my investment, even though I don't know these calcs. Like I said, I'm not as prepared as I normally would be, but uh, I, I, I have to trust these calcs right now. Um, so no Stealth Rocks on his side of the field, which is unfortunate, but realistically, he would find a way to defog them away either way. Um, I'm gonna show the set here, um, we all know what I'm gonna click, right? So, um, the high jump kick was just for the x Bloud, which, um, x Bloud was pretty scary. I almost, um, ran some speed investment just to try and outspeed, just try to speed creep the, the, uh, goes for the Poison Jab, alright, how do we, how do we take this one? Come on, Serena. Yes! Oh, Serena, you're God. Don't miss. Don't miss. There we go. Okay. Okay. I super duper love our chances right now. I don't remember what items on this. Oh yeah, this is, this is all vested. It's an assault vested uh, Serena with um with mixed defenses. Um, I want to say the physical defense hits like 132, and the special defense hits like 150 ish uh, before the assault vest, something like that. Something like that. I might have switched it up last second just to give it a, some more defensive bulk, just um, to really counter this coma. Oh, but I don't really remember too well. Um, if anything, if anything, I bet you he thought that I was gonna take the turn to rapid spin to open the door for my um, for my Greninja, which I probably should have done. In all fairness, I probably should have done that. But. Either way, yeah, yeah, no, that that had to be my play because Greninja doesn't Greninja doesn't win it for me in the end anyway because uh because of the Dragon Dance. Oh man, I'm a I'm a soul vested. Okay, I have to know. I don't want to get too deep into these um calcs, but I have to know. Oh, 60 that clean 69 HP on my girl Serena, the side piece herself. I'm assault vested as heck, dude. Galvantula. If I could rapid spin right now, that would be incredible. That would be incredible. Um...
bug buzz. Oh no, this does not look good. This does not look good at all. Yeah, there's no planet on which I take this. That's fine. That's fine. I can try and go into... I'm going to try and go into the... Um, Jolty on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a chance to. Oh wait, so if I do if if I do find a way to, it does have the glide score, right? So I, so um, it would super not be the best idea to. Uh... Nah, Shadow Ball is the play. I'm just, I'm just gonna play Shadow Ball. So yeah. Oh wait, no, I did get rocks up. That's so weird. I did get rocks up. Okay. So, um so if if Serena can find a mon to rapid spin against, then uh the then there's no way of getting sticky webs back up because this thing would get KO'd on re-entry, which you could use for um Death Fodder later on, totally fine. But uh I'm in a decent position, and, and as long as I have my Pre-Marine in the back, then I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. The Golbat is going to be super difficult to deal with, though. Golbat is going to be super difficult to deal with. But as long as I have a Latios that can't be affected by Sticky Webs, um, it should keep it out of my hair for now. At this point, I think he's weighing his options for the Gliscor switch in, which I know he wants to make. I know he wants to make that switch. But, uh, there's not really much of a reason to, I don't think. She does. Oh, I think he's giving this to me. Because you don't take this after rocks. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overestimating Jolteon, but I feel like you don't take this after rocks. No, okay. So, does that do anything for me in the long run? Not really. He might be taking the... I mean, I, I mean, I get it if he expected me to HP Ice predicting a Glide score or Volt Switch away, but, um, it wasn't worth it. And that was a Scarfers, um against my reasonably fast team, so he doesn't have anything left for my Latios, really. Um, there's the Golbat. So he's gonna try and defog, what? He could just try to roost here. That'd be a super understandable play. And Specs, right? This is very early in the morning. I'm uh, not in the best of uh, mind states, but Shadow Ball, what kind of damage are we looking at? <sighs> okay. So the deal seems to be here, right? That if he goes for the defog, then... If he goes for the defog, then... Oh, the Gliscor outspeeds, so he has no reason not to go for Roost right now. There's no reason not to go for Roost right now. But at the same time, he's very positive. He knows, he has to know that he's possibly giving me a free switch into the, into the Latios. I'm gonna Shadow Ball, let's see. There's the Defog. So, okay, that's super interesting, right? That's super interesting because uh, the Galvantula can come back in, which I think, I guess he wants for the Latios, but yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I was going to say. If he does go for the Defog, then he leaves himself wide open for, for letting me take this thing out. Except now he outspeeds me so he can roost, so 
That play was never the best for me. I should have taken that free switch into Latios. And he doesn't yet know that I don't have Psychic Snap, but uh, I would have kind of been stuck out there either way. I definitely would have been stuck out there either way. I clicked Shadow Ball. I clicked way too quickly. I should not have clicked that. I should not have clicked that. But not having... This brings us back to square one, essentially, except now he has his defog off. Okay, what do I do? What's my play? I kind of feel like a like an like a reasonably aggressive switch in a Greninja would do me pretty well here. All right, what's his three left? Glyscore, not a switch in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the pretty aggressive switch into Greninja because I think Greninja just kind of wins this endgame for me. Greninja just kind of wins this endgame for me. And it's funny because uh, Primarina had the best matchup. Like, Primarina could tear through his team, but uh, I don't think Primarina is gonna get a, much of a chance to do uh, anything really. So, I get it, this thing's gonna be bulky, but I feel like Ice Beam has to be like a 2 hit KO. I could go for a U-turn here. You're just gonna Brave Bird me, right? You're just gonna Brave Bird me, right? I could switch into the Jolteon and then... No, I can't. I can't, the Glass Score play is super free. But this just has to be like a 2 hit KO. And he doesn't have any switch-ins to this. He doesn't have any switch-ins to this. Ice Beam. Yeah, Ice Beam has to be a 2 hit KO from, at this point. EVLA. Yeah, I don't... You have to be super heavily specially invested for this to not be a 2 hit KO, but realistically you might be just because of uh, the Jolteon. But either way, I feel like this damage is uh, gonna be worth it. I, I mean, I, I mean, realistically, I have to wear this down. To, I have to, I have to wear down this gold bat no matter what. And um, and I might be giving up Greninja to do it, but my positioning is such that I don't think I have to care too much at this point. We probably take this Brave Bird, right? If if we take this Brave Bird, then uh, I'm pretty positive we win. Yeah, I'm pretty positive we win at this point. Greninja just cleans up these final three, I'm, I think. I don't know what else could happen here that would prevent that from, from being the case. I don't know what else could happen here that would change that. Unless Galvangela gets priority. I don't know anything on his team that would get priority. But even if I did have to give up this, um, even if I did have to give up this Greninja, then I have plenty more in the back that could deal with this. So I guess we're going to see what happens here. I, I'm pretty positive I'm even going to survive two more turns of Life Orb. So, I mean, ultimately, ultimately that Cresselia play kind of, um, mattered a lot. Because he could have been taking that turn to Moonlight. He could have been taking that turn to Moonlight. And if that was the case, then I really didn't have much I could do there. I'm not sure what uh, he's considering. I mean, I suppose there's always a possibility that the... that the... Galvantula is scarfed. I don't think I've seen it switch moves. Well, no, it went for Sticky Webs and then Bug Buzz, so I'm pretty positive in the early, in the early game. 
but um, I don't. I could be missing something, but uh, yeah, this thing goes down, and the first time Glide Score is hitting the field, and I believe I should drop unless it's Focus Ash. But this could be that 5 0 win. There we go. Okay. That was week one of UBL for your New Jersey Robats. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back with week two of UBL next week, as well as week seven, I believe, of PGBL. With that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.